All right, so you want to lose weight? Good on you. It's a good start, all right? First thing I want you to know is that losing weight and keeping it off is a lifetime commitment. A lifetime commitment means you have to change the way that you act every day. Your habits, the things that you do every day, the food you put in your mouth, how much, how much food you put in your mouth, and how much you exercise, your activity. These things have to change. Otherwise, you're not going to see a change. If you change for a week or two weeks, you might see a little bit of change. But the goal is you want to be slim and be strong for your whole life. That's the goal, really. If someone said to you, I, got, I created the pill and you just take the pill once every night and once every morning and you'll be fit and lean for the rest of your life, you take it, right? Well, this is that pill, except <laughs> it's not as easy as a pill. It's more complicated because this is the best we've got right now. So here's what you have to do. You got two options. Okay. You got either your diet or your activity exercise. Now, diet is the better option. Why? Because exercise takes time and it's actually hard, especially if you're 20 kilos overweight or more. It hurts your body. Even if you're lean, exercise hurts your body. It takes a toll. It can be difficult. And it doesn't burn that much exercise. So say you want to run or dance or do a muscle workout. You'll do that for about an hour and you'll only burn about 300 calories. It's not much. Even if you did a short, super intense workout, firstly, you'll be very sore and it'll only burn 100 or 200 calories. There is benefits to exercise, but weight loss isn't the main benefit. The main benefit of exercise is it shapes your body. Now, why should you use diet? Because diet, you're going to eat every day anyway for the rest of your life. You have to, right? So all you need to do is learn how much you need to eat and what you need to eat. Now, what you can do, you can eat exactly what you're eating right now. Here's the first option, okay, within uh, diet. Not exercise, we already talked about exercise, we'll just leave that for now. We'll focus on diet. Your first option is to eat exactly what you're eating, but eat less of what you're eating. So if you're used to going out to a restaurant and eating the whole plate and then having a dessert, and maybe you had an entree at the beginning, you have to eat less than that. Otherwise, you're not going to lose any weight. So the first way is to eat smaller portions of what you're already eating. So if you have two grilled cheese sandwiches every day, have one and a half and then a, a few weeks later have one if you eat like the same thing the same kind of foods every week that you're eating have less of those same foods now the second way is to substitute foods so that means changing the foods you already eat now what's the point of changing foods well health because different foods make you feel different and lower your chances of disease and volume some foods fill you up more because they take up more space in your stomach because they're full of fiber and water. Now, food substitutions. So you could be like, instead of eating half of your plate meat, you might decide to eat, uh, instead of meat, you have rice. Because rice is not as dense as meat. So you replace half of your meat with rice. Now, I'm vegan, and so I don't eat meat. But whatever I eat, it still applies, right? If I had beans or nuts or something like that or some chocolate or whatever it can be replaced with something else if you're trying to lose weight so food substitution foods you can substitute there's a long list and there'll be another video to go into details like that but those are the ways to lose weight so diet is your main way and exercise is just for you to keep fit feel and be strong and to shape your body not not to actually not as the main way to lose weight Okay, hope this video helps, yeah.